We are live at La Casa Hotel in Mokun, Ekbe, Lagos State, for the installation ceremony and induction of 2022 to 2023 board members and project fundraising ceremony organized by the Rotary Club of Ekbe Metropolitan with several dignitaries in attendance. The Rotary Club of Ekwe Metropolitan is known for providing services to people, promoting integrity and advanced world understanding, goodwill and peace through their fellowship of business, professional and community leaders. Rotarian Osepeko Mark Olani is one of the distinguished Rotarian who has contributed immensely to the Rotary Club of Ekwe Metropolitan. He will be honored and inducted as the fifth president of the Rotary Club of Ekwe Metropolitan. And those gathered here will also aim to address the theme public image as a veritable tool for driving Rotary membership and service. You can be rest assured that a core blog will bring you the details of this event as it unfolds. My name is Olayinka Olorenshola. Please stay tuned. Oshifeko, an agribusiness consultant and senior legislative aide on education, research, and youth affairs to Honorable Waleraji, member of House of Representative, a federal constituency, was installed as the fifth president of the Rotary Club of Ekpe Metropolitan. Yes, 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 yes. I am happy. I am highly happy. Okay. Uh, as we speak, we have, we have a color red and somebody bend it down. Do you want to wear this? You want to wear it? You want to? Yes, sir. Is a president? Uh, yes, sir. Please, you can come for good picture, sir. Yes, sir. Is a president after all? He's a president. There is just one moon and one golden sun, and a smiling friendship to everyone. The colorful event was held at La Casa Hotel, a serene haven of hospitality situated in the arts of Boca Kingdom, a Rido LCD Epe. <laughs> During his acceptance speech, the new president thanked individuals and organizations present for their support towards the success of the event. My, my AG, my IPP, fellow Rotarians, guests and friends of Rotary, I want to once again, I appreciate you all for coming to this gathering. And before I go on with my acceptance speech, I want to crave the indulgence of everyone to please permit me to specially appreciate our Tutor General and Permanent Secretary, Mr. Shevon Oshinaike. He will want to take his leave for another very important event. But he said before he leaves, 
want to have a word with the club and the audience. I will stand by the already established protocol. So with due courtesy, I want to congratulate uh, you know, uh, our highly imaginative Rotarian or Shifreko or Lani, we popularly call him Mike, on today's inauguration as the fifth president of Rotary Club of Ekwe. It is, the, it is indeed a landmark inauguration and I want to wish you well. I want to wish members of your council or your board members as you may call it, I want to wish you well in this new assignment that you are going to take. I want to congratulate all members of the club because you are having somebody that will really sustain what other presidents have done, what other board members have done. And I'm sure he will try and surpass what is on ground. I know his ability, I know he's able, and he's capable. It's just like our Mr. Governor, that is Mr. Celebu, Baba Jide, Ulushola, Sawulu. You know, a lot of innovations, creativity has come with that regime. I want to assure you that Mark will come in the same respect. So let, don't let me bore you with speech. All I need to say is that I want you to have happy celebration as all other events unfold. Thank you, and God bless you all. I recognizing the able president and uh, all distinguished members of this high table. Happy to especially I recognize you. Um, all the guests and friends, Rotarians here, I recognize you, and I bid you welcome. Uh, anytime I find myself in the gathering of Rotary, what comes straight to my mind is that Rotary is good. Rotary is what? Rotary is good. Take it to the bank. Now, um, it's a pleasure to be here on this uh, your investiture of the new president. And it's a tradition in Rotary. Every year we do this uh, in, in every club. And uh, the objective is actually to identify and raise funds for the projects of the year. And to that extent, I will say, I want to thank you again for being here because you want to be part of uh, this historic uh, gathering and the fundraising exercise that we are going to have here today. Um, I don't know if you understand the procedure. One of the ways we raise funds is to give a free will donation from time to time, like when we contribute, when we are singing the songs, we contribute to sing the song. And uh, there's also what we call the American auction, which, uh, which is wrapped there, it's wrapped in one corner there. And uh, with this, with this uh, piece that you have there, please, thank you, let me show it around. Ah, it's too heavy, you see. So somebody will go home today with this. Somebody will go, I can show you. But you see, the point here is that because it is American auction, it can, this thing can sell for a million naira, it can sell for two million, depending on the kind of the capacity we have, the people we, we have here. Uh, when, when we get to that uh, point, we will explain how it goes. And uh, from the district governor, uh, uh, greetings, compliments, and uh, complimentary greetings from the district governor. Uh, at the at a, at a meeting that we held 
concerning membership at the district uh, office, I happen to be a chairman of a membership development. Uh, and what I saw is that the membership did not grow like I expected. It did not grow like I expected. Tata President, you recall the number we started with? How many, how many, how many people did we start with? 34. I was shocked to see the number on the on the membership list. So please, uh, and the first question I asked when I came here was from the president, the incoming was, how many how many members are we inducting? Okay. So your first priority as a club now is membership growth. Please, we need to appreciate this is membership growth. It is the members that will be able to build the project. It becomes more burden for the fewer members to, to make you carry out projects. But the more you are, the merrier, the easier. So on that note, I hope my message is clear. Please grow your membership. Thank you so much. Thank you, for, thank you to all that have been all that are here seated. God bless you all. Thank you. Rotarians, Rotaractors, guests and friends of Rotary seated. I want to first of all appreciate Almighty God for giving us the opportunity to convert safely today for this great occasion of my installation as the fifth president of Rotary Club of Economic Politan. I want to use this medium to appreciate you all for the opportunity to serve as the managing president for the 2022-2023 Rotary year. It is a privilege I hold in high esteem and will forever cherish. I want to thank our outgoing president, CMP Oluj Shesi Oludele, for his effort in this year. I appreciate all other members for their understanding and cooperation. I wholeheartedly accept the responsibility and hope to put in my best in the service of the club and our community at large. I would also want to honor our late past president, Rotarian Henry and Abimbola whose last discussion with me was convincing me to get ready to lead the club. In this regard, I will please request us to stand for a minute silence for our late president. May the soul of the departed rest in peace. The success of today's event I pray God will see us through these trying times. For the benefit of our guests, Rotary International is a humanitarian service organization which brings together business and professional leaders in order to provide community service, promote integrity, and advance goodwill, peace, and understanding in the world. It is a non-political and non-religious organization. Membership is by invitation and based on various social factors. There are over 46,000 member clubs worldwide with a membership of 1.4 million individuals known as Rotarians. I am using this opportunity to extend a membership request to our guests to join us as we serve humanity. The club has seven areas of focus and the first one is peace and conflict prevention slash res resolution. The second one is disease prevention and treatment. Third, maternal and child health. The fourth one is clean water and sanitation. The fifth one, economic and community development. Sixth, basic education and literacy. Seventh, the environment. Rotary Club of Equipment was chartered in 2018 with an average membership of 30 which we look to grow further. The club has been engaged in various community-based projects across different parts of Ekwe, Eredo, and Ecclesia Journey, along the seven areas of focus earlier mentioned. In this imaginative year, 2026-2023, which I am prepared to lead, I look forward to your support and, co uh, and cooperation in achieving the following. One, growing membership and bonding members. Membership is the engine of any club. 
as they determine the success or otherwise of the club. In this Rotary year, we hope to consolidate and bond well the existing members through different initiatives and programs. We also look forward to bringing in new members to bring in their skills, time and resources in the service of the club and community. The second one on our agenda is completing the ongoing toilet project. The club currently has a toilet project ongoing at Aitoro. The project already has a bowl and tank that supplies water there. It has been roofed, but we look forward to delivering it this rotary year as it is far beyond our planned delivery date. The second one is on the training and supporting skilled artisans. With the influx of new companies in and around the way, we are in envisaging a skills gap, which may have a negative effect on productivity and high unemployment rates. We hope to work with the Lagos State Technical College, Odomola, to train and certify some youth before the end of this rotary year. The fourth one is public image. This is the opinion that we, many people have of a person or an organization. We hope to create more awareness about Rotary Club with different media projects and signage that will improve the public image of the club. The fifth one is sustaining our monthly projects in the seven Rotary areas of focus. Rotary has seven areas of focus, like I mentioned earlier. We look forward to implementing them within the available resources to impact our community and environment. Fellow Rotarians, Rotaractors, intended Rotarians and friends of Rotary, that the task ahead is huge, but with your support and cooperation, I see us achieving them seamlessly. I look forward to partnering with you to make the new year a successful one. I will not end my speech without thanking my family for the cooperation and support they have continuously given me, which has made my Rotary years enjoyable and remarkable. I also want to appreciate the Investiture Planning Committee, ably led by Rotary and Abena Toladipo, for putting this event together. Thanks to our Assistant Governor, Rotary and Tony Egbokon, for his tutelage, and special appreciation to all members, guests, and friends of Rotary here seated. Thank you all for gracing this occasion. I look forward to seeing you more, more of you in our club meetings and activities in this Rotary year. Thank you all for your time and God bless. As, as we all know, like I said earlier, the toilet project we embark upon is pressing on my mind as a person and I would love to complete that project this year because we, we, the, per the person who initiated it, if I tell you, is not even from a pair. He's somebody who is not from a pair, and he's the person who I, who just had a minute silence for. So, he, when he wanted to start that project, we were like, ah, what's the end of this? But later on, we discovered the critical need of that project. And the market women operating in another area are waiting for us to come and complete it. So, I will call on each and every one of us here to please ensure we put in our support in whatever capacity we can do. The other projects we have to are also pressing, but I urge us to all do our best to ensure we deliver that project this routine year. Before I hand over the mic, I want to once again appreciate us all for coming. It is my joy seeing these faces, members from Equipe Grammar School Student Association, members from AgriKS family, club members, my family members, my fathers. I will especially appreciate Barista Ogundeko because I will tell you one thing today. If you see me or anyone close to me getting to link up people in service, I will tell you he is my go-get man. Please, every clap for him. 
the outgoing president, Rotarian Oludele Olushesi, attested to the leadership of command of the new president and therefore admonished him to use his political and social goodwill to boost the club's finances to complete its third project despite the country's economic realities. The BG governor of District 9110, the best district in the whole Africa. <laughs> Fellow Rotarians in the house, my incoming, sorry if I'm, rep I'm recognizing Rotarians, there is a protocol in Rotary. Those are the first people which I need to first of all recognize. I'm sorry, my incoming imaginative president and his available wife. The guest speaker of today's event, our mother to the incoming imaginative president, the SRG, my representative of the Honorable Wale Raji, the Rotaractor President, the Balogun in our midst, who is also representing the KBC, Alailua, my Commissioner, Lagos State, Local Government Service Commission, if I'm right. Okay, thank you, sir, for correcting me. You are highly welcome. All other invited guests, I welcome each and every one of us to this occasion. It is my pleasure to present, I have my speech at page 16 in the booklet before us, and my stewardship. The 2021-2022 Rotary year, under my leadership, as change maker president of Rotary Club of Hepe Metropolitan, was full of events and little itches here and there. But to the glory of God, we are able to do the best we could. This will be highlighted as follows. Number one, deals and annual fund payment. During the year, the club paid both RI deals, including semi annual and district dues for all members membership two additional new members were inducted during the year and the club under my watch took a bold step of taking road to fellowship to members house to increase in membership road to foundation the club paid the mandatory 10 US dollar per Rotarian to the Polio Plus for all the 26 members of the club. Basic Education and Literacy Month. The club visited some primary schools where members took time to engage the pupils in reading and some writing materials were at Rotary International concerning the environmental support program. However, some other routine areas of focus were also touched during the year with limited available resources. The STAR project. This is a public toilet project situated at Aetoro markets. Okay. This was handed over to my board 
and was developed to the Linton level and roofing stage during the 2021-23 outgoing year. We also donated a generator set to the people of the Ayatollah market to power the ball. The club was able to do this through the collective contribution of men and women in the club. The project has been a capital intensive one to the club and we all pray during the imaginative year that it will be completed and added over to the market women and men in Ayoto repair for use. The district governor visited the club during the year and admonished the club to assiduously work at improving on committed members to the club, both financially and membership wise. Suffice to the Suffice to heart that members of the club also donated towards the DWF during the DG visit. Furthermore, permit me distinguished guests, friends, and rotary, other dignitaries and invited guests, to express my gratitude to all members of Rotary Club of Epimetro to their unrelenting support towards the change maker board during the year to make the club waxing stronger. Let me as well appreciate my AG, Barry, Rotarian Barrister Sam Iwaku, to all his moral and financial support to the club during the year. I pray the Almighty we bless him the more to continue to serve the humanity. My gratitude as well goes to Rotarian High Chief Jamie Adebayo Balogun for his unflinching support towards the club during the year. I pray God Almighty replenish his force in million fools as it pays to serve humanity with one finance. Permit me also to recognize the unalloyed support given to me by my indefatigable change maker secretary. You are a brother in a million. God bless you as I wish to still work with you again in the nearest future, if needs be. I also use this medium to thank my imaginative president, CP, past president, and not to forget my imaginative secretary as well as the treasurer for all their all relentless support during the year for the growth and sustainability as well as the development of RECM in general. I say merci beaucoup. Moreover, I thank the entire club members who I cannot mention all their needs because of the limited time for all the support and prompt payment of club dues and other unexpected financial gesture toward the club during the year. The good Lord will put a smile to our faces and as this year is winding down, we all sing a song of praises and happiness filled with joy. Behind a successful man, there is a woman. I have the singular honor and privilege to thank my amiable and adorable and beautiful wife and children for the support you received towards the rotary year and i pray god will be with them and let them reap the fruit of our labor to all the image to to the imaginative president the work i just started already and i categorically see say to you say that you have to the task and you have you have started very well the only challenge I put before you is to help the club and use all your political connection and exposure during your year to complete the STAR project. Though it has gotten to an appreciable stage, but the club, financial, the club finances is limited at this period coupled with the current economic trend in the nation today. 
I pray to God to give you the proving, the power, and strength to achieve this milestone. I know you can do it, and God Almighty will surely give you the wherewithal to achieve this great landslide. Once again, thank you all, Rotarian Olusiesi Oludele. Several guests noted generously to the club in funding its projects for 2022 to 2023. Going. Be careful. No, I careful. Going one. Going two. Going three. Four. Forty-six. Forty-six. Yes, forty-six for plus five thousand naira. Fifty-one thousand naira. Besides Ecowat Blog, prominent organizations and personalities clinched various awards of recognition at the investiture ceremony. On behalf of the Rotary Club of Ecuador Metropolitan, District 910, it is my pleasure to present to Rotarian Jim Gabaji. Labody, my own brother, my dear brother, and of course, I will say this when you are talking about school, I'm sure that all of us here will have to like the fact that great last wife, great, you know, they are really doing exploit in this state. And one of the reasons why the founding <laughs> father of Lagos State University established that school, if you read through the law that established that school. Actually, it's starting for the purpose of raising academician, civil servant of repute. And I'm sure by today, all of us will acknowledge the fact that with this presentation, Jack on the our dear father that is deceased now, has done you know, really very well by establishing that school last school. He has really done justice to that topic. Please, on behalf of the Rotarian Jabadi Nolabadi, he has requested that we should give a round of applause for Jack on Day and all his students. So, on behalf of Rotary Club of Ecuador, I would like to present this to you for this very brilliant presentation. And I must tell you that I've learned quite a lot from this presentation. It is, you are not poor enough to do charity. And I've learned a great lesson from this. Any amount is enough for you to be able to do. Congratulations, sir. Congratulations, sir. All right, um, Rotarian Duke is a Rotarian. So he knows how we do it in Rotary. I will hand over the mic to him again to say a word and make donation to the Rotary Club. It's not to expect. It's not a lot of time in the time. Yes. 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 Thank you very much. All the largest and the biggest rooted districts in Africa. Thanks. Well, I don't have to follow strictly to what is here. I can add to it. On behalf of the Rotary Club of Africa, and on behalf of the distinguished men and women who are present here today, uh, I hereby present this to you for being a position. A great job to charity and particularly the support we have given the special part of it. Uh, I say congratulations and God bless you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Congratulations to our chief Charles Keshiro. And on that note, I'd like to hand over the mic to him to also make a statement and donate to the project. Thanks, sir. To God be the glory. And uh, for the glory of God, I receive it and appreciate it with all my heart. Uh, and I 
also want to I think I would rather dedicate it to, to my family of friends. I appreciate you, Mark. And like I always say, I will always support the small, good financially and morally. to please step forward and song Ugudeko. Please put your hands together for Barista Ugudeko. Let me invite all the family members to wait here you got this for you. And thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm highly honored to present to you this award for being a notable person in the community and for bringing the board by your job visual test. Once again, say congratulations. After this, uh, all the family members will join in before he makes his donation. <coughs> uh, Mr. Delta will be here. Brother, the, the, the doctor, the newly doctor, the president, the president, me. The truth about it is that he deserves to be the president of Rochu. And um, the truth about it is. I really don't go out for events. But this event is very special to me. Very special because I know that he is, is really committed to the development of the youth and for development of the whole area. And that is why I'm here. I am really committed to his project as a Rotary president and he can take it to the bank that when he comes I will be available to ensure that he succeeds as the president of Rotary Club. Thank you. Thank you very much. I will apologize please. He is a Paul Harris fellow. He has donated 1,000 US dollars to Rotary Foundation. Just like I did in 2017. Yes, I did in 2017. I'm a Polaris family. Yes, check down to me. Do not doubt me. Let me invite the representative of Bomba. The representative of Bomba. Representative of Mama Buka Kabisa, IG Balu, please help us present this exemplary leadership award to Rutilia Larry Karim. Please, Rutilia PHM.
the one I'm going at uh, I enter the public toilets. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Uh, Professor Nasiru Unibo. Abraham Abraham is entered here today by Alaja Raji. Please round of applause for Alaja Raji as he steps forward to, to receive this award on behalf of Professor Nosu Olebo. May I invite the charter president to please help us present this award to representative of our own associate professor, Nosu Olebo. On behalf of Roji Club, very much. We are presenting this award to Assistant Professor Associate Professor Nosiru Onipo for the Service Award. This award came all the way from the United States. We are now looking at people that are giving back to the community. We have a lot of them in society. We need to involve glue, MTN, and LTF. We made a lot of money, but at the end of the day, the results were given to us just yesterday. I want to congratulate Professor. Not simply being one out of a million. You know, a lot of people have been doing things of things like myself. I was doing one push that had from my end to the other street. My name was not in the So, on behalf of the club, I want to present this award to the representative of. Associate Professor Nosi Oniba. On behalf of our club, we are presenting you this ticket with Widow's Mind. We are lost We are lost Well, that is the first aspect of the award. Before I give you my I can see you. My 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 <laughs> Who is going to do speak on behalf of the Good evening. Good afternoon, everybody. On behalf of Associate Professor Nasi, we say a very big thank you to the Trade Club. We really appreciate the award. And the award that we have is what? So, we have to look back and do what and give back to the government. So, to say thank you. Thank you very much. Congratulations to Associate Professor Olimpo. Thank you. Okay, sorry. Last day for the aspect of the uh, I said I'm going to get back to the president of the club and the amount that I pledge to support. So when it's bad, it's not in the country at the moment, but when it comes back, it's a definite better for us. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Um, Community Service Award in Public Image Category. Please a round of applause for Iku Ong Brown. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. Well, I want to personally comment about what the co op club has been doing for us in the world. Because, sincerely speaking, the day I spoke to my DJ Abbas, he told me he had not to do the journalism at all. But it was desire and interest to see. Being projected where I couldn't set up this platform. And today, 
In this team that's in you have nothing less than four team members who are working their team as And outside that, when he goes to cover any event, he will not charge you. He will not charge you. He will always say that he will I am so happy to say that image has come for the way because the time we are having a celebration, the kind of coverage a bird gets since he started this film is always fantastic. So on behalf of the club, I want to appreciate for you in absence because you promised to be here in person for touching it's not around. And that's what it says. One of the students has to get their own. I will join the train because I have a testimony about Otumba TJ Abbas and it's somebody the entire contribution should celebrate and I said it's on authority probably because I'm a beneficiary of you this is a whole block it's a fantastic produce school their production, their output is fantastic and this one will be free of charge the one that shocked me most my recent sister by the he sent the team the offer for free and he still sent 200,000 around to me. And I know if he could send that to me, only God knows what he's doing for people. If you start with me, whatever I said, no system may be started. So I want to be part of celebrating this great man that God has blessed us with in this position. Uh, it's a well deserved award. If you have another award, let's thank you to the award. Thank you very much. And to present this award, let me invite our past president, Lutheria Mrs. Olaleye, to please help us present this award to the Code of the Club. Oh, we have, we have collected your 200,000. <laughs> So I will share for you for a while. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's
buying books without talking to him and supported the program without knowing me. I've not seen it before, but I've seen it for the first time today. You just came to my inbox and made an advert that went to the young woman. And, uh, sir, I really want to show appreciation to you for this guest show and uh, support for coming here today. So I really appreciate you. I appreciate you. Equal Blood interviewed guests and dignitaries present at the occasion. Well, generally, Rotary International is an international humanitarian organization started by Polaris. So the club has been in the state for over 100 years or thereabouts. But Rotary Club of Equipment, which we are celebrating today, this is the, f I'm the fifth president of the club. The club was chartered in 2018. Well, it's a great privilege and honor because it's a year of service. That's what Rotary is all about. Rotary is service, service, service. You have to give your all to the club throughout that year and it's, it's a bit tasking, but I am sure I'm up to the task. Well, like I said recently during an interview, I said for this Rotary year, the, the first thing on my mind we have a toilet project the club has embarked on for a few years now. The, the project is in uh, Aitoro, Aitoro market slash garage. So we have done to around 50 or 60 percent completion. But this year, I want to make sure I complete it. The idea behind this is because Rotary has seven areas of focus and sanitation and hygiene, clean water, and sanitation is one of the key areas. So that is what we saw that is, and decided to embark on that project. Now we are going to complete that project this year and make sure it is released for public use. We already have running water there, but the toilet itself is not yet ready. But I'm going to make sure I complete it this year. Another project that is key to me is empowerment and training of technicians. Equa is beginning to open up to the world and we are already having a lot of cottage industries and companies coming up. But unfortunately, sometimes we get the complaint that we don't get technicians who are skilled enough to serve. And even when you get those who are skilled enough, some of them are not satisfied to run professional jobs. So this is a huge gap we saw and think we need to do something in that area. So this year we are planning to work with the Lagos State Technical College, Yodomola. We are going to support some of these people in the area of training, certification, and examination. I'm a member of the Metropolitan, Rotary Metropolitan Club. It's, uh, it's the president, the newly inducted president. So I'm a member. We share a very good relationship. He is a brother and a motivator too. Well, let me put it to you that uh, globally there is what we call humanitarian crisis. And this club is noted for humanity. So we are more challenged now to fix into this contest of helping humanity. And that's our focus. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's not a uh, uh, government club, so to say. We are not sponsored by government, but individuals come together uh, to, to help, to rally around ourselves and help. Where we are, as people say it, we are the largest donors without expecting much back, but we want to impact on people's lives. Like I said earlier, we are in the midst of humanitarian crisis. So that is the challenge we have now, that we need to do more than what we've been doing before. Yeah, of the club. Trust me, um, the club is going to experience a turnaround because he's a very workaholic person. He likes to work and he can deliver. So today's occasion is a memorable one. And to be candid, 
I begin to have a change of mind to see whether I should be part of the Rotary Club based on what I experience or see today. As an awardee, what award do you think we did? Yeah, as an awardee, first of all, I would like to appreciate God for giving us the initiative to set up or establish an NGO based in Ekwe for us, which serves as an avenue for us to give, look back and give back to the community that made us whom we have today because we are one of the sons of the soil and they said charity begins at home. So we have been doing all our community service here in Ekwe and our core values are community development advocacy, human capacity building, poverty alleviation, and promoting good governance. So we've been doing that over time. This year make it four years. Um, all in all, we'll be able to achieve 27 projects within the last four years. So with the little we'll be doing in the community, I think that is what ends us this award. And the reward of good work is what, the word of hard work is what more work. So when we learn, based on the award given to us, we we'll try and intensify more effort to ensure that we we'll give, we we'll do more and give back to this community. And beyond that, it's not going to be limited to a division alone. It's going to be, we are going to extend our service beyond the division across Lagos State and across Nigeria. Um, it's a very great event because it's like a celebration of the club. And considering the impact we have made in the community, you will say is a great achievement and success for us to reach this um, milestone and we hope to impact more in the community and its environment. Um, for you to be a Rotarian, you must be a cheerful giver, a philanthropist, a people's man and always ready to serve. So, and I believe he has all these attributes. So I have a full confidence in him that he will, he will give all his best and will have a great year. I, for sure, I, I'm happy because uh, it's a sign of appreciation for what the home serve, is serving in Ekbe. It's been a wonderful time since the home commenced, uh, I think, January this year. And uh, this should be the Though some people have been coming in to show interest, at least to appreciate, but this is the first time we'll be receiving an award of such. And I think we we'll really appreciate it. I'm quite happy about that. 2018, through the efforts of God and High, I need to bring the likes mind on board. As we all know, Rotary is all about humanitarian. Rotary has nothing than to bring like minds and to assist the needies. So, my club since then, I was a Rotary actor since my university days, which in this environment there was no Rotary act, no Rotary. I put it upon myself to bring the like mind, to have to form one so that we can start getting back to the community that we all came from. That was why this is where we are today. It was the effort. Rotary started like in between friends. And three of the people that formed Rotary are lawyers. The same thing happens to mine, to this club. I formed this club in my own office with my friends and clients. But thank God it's growing higher today. I joined, I told the line of one of our founders, who is Paul um, Polaris. He's a lawyer. I'm a lawyer. He's a founder of Rotary International. I'm a founder of Rotary Club of Equipment. That is why we have two things in common. It's been very wonderful. It's, I've attended their programs. My son was also a member until recently when he relocated. So I've been attending their programs. I've been seeing their contribution towards the community educationally, socially, welfare, empowerment. They have been very good. The Metro, uh, we are expecting more projects to encourage we the youth, we the Rotary actors coming to be with next coming Rotarian. We are, we are, well, we need more support from Rotarian Mark, which is the, which is our president of our sponsor club, because Rotary is the one sponsoring Rotary Arts Club. 
So we need more support from them and more projects to the community. The kneeling doctor president is uh, a wonderful brother. He's, a, he's someone that motivates me. He's a very good friend. Uh, we have engaged in a whole lot of community advocacy uh, projects in politics, in education, in health, in all manners of areas that are very, very uh, impactful to the lives of our people in Ekwe. And, you know, he's, one, he's just one guy that's passionate and enthusiastic about change. You know, talk about education, talk about health, talk about sports, talk about politics, talk about any area of human endeavor. He is always there to uh, make his contributions for the betterment of all in this uh, community. And funny enough, uh, he is the kind of person that he tries his possible best to, you know, give youths that are always around him a sense of belonging in the sense that he supports them with you know goals targets and you know i i just want to say that generally if you have uh, mr oshifa komako lani on your side as a young person you are in the right place because he's going to really inspire you and bring out the best in you and that's the kind of person he is yes the core blocks our world is a moment of uh, joy and elation for me and the entire crew and I won't I won't uh, forget to emphasize the fact that the media has its own role to play in the socio-economic development of every community and I'm very sure a core blog has been a trailblazer in the art aspect in this community you know uh, from the principle of uh, the founder and the publisher which is my able boss and father Otumba Tijia Bas you know he has this vision of uh, making a, 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 a mecca for several journalists and writers and all that and reporters, you know. Uh, his dream is to make a, a hub for the media, you know. And he's doing this altruistically because when you have uh, someone like T.J. Abbas as your boss, you just have to imbibe the spirit of altruism and the spirit of uh, humanitarian work because <laughs> uh, through the media, he has really um, improved the projection of a queer community to the global uh, community. And I'm so excited, I'm elated, I'm glad that this award is coming from an organization like the uh, Rotary Club of Equer Metropolitan. You know, generally, I just wish and pray that this um, media organization uh, is taking higher than this stage so that there can be more impact uh, for growth and development in a queer division as a whole. I just pray that God Almighty will continue to strengthen him, to provide for him, to really, you know, uh, see that dream come into fruition so that, yes, we can all look back and smile that, yes, through the media, we really did a whole lot of work to, you know, put a queer on a global pedestal. Yes, he's my brother. He's a friend, and uh, we are both member of the, the Emirate Blazers. Not a Rotarian, but uh, for me, so far, so good. Uh, I got to know about the organization about three years ago, and uh, for me, they've tried their little best, and I think they can do more. And uh, with uh, Mark on board, I see them excelling better event is just a mark of honor for him. As you can see, personalities around him, and that describes his person. Okay, maybe a point of correction. The award is not personally going to me. The Emerald Blazers, I'm the convener of the Emerald Blazers, and uh, I think uh, we started the organization less than one year. And uh, we've been able to touch all secondary schools, both junior and senior secondary school, in Eredo Assis, Epe Central Assis, uh, Ikose Junior Assis. And presently now, we're about to conclude the uh, Ibejuleki Assis. And uh, so far, so good. It's a way of giving back to the community. Maybe because of this past effort is what 
made us to merit such a award. It's a calling that, you know, the reward of hard working is more work. So, me personally, for him not to disappoint somebody like me, because I so much believe in him that uh, we've been very close for about five, six years, and I've seen him as somebody who is very wonderful. He's an Ashiva. He's somebody that, you know, a go-getter. And I see him that uh, he will lay a record that uh, it will be difficult to surpass in future to come. Well, I won't want to sectionalize to start with. I'll just say generally, service to humanity, like I said, is one of the core functions. I think what every one of us should try as much as possible to engage in because the world itself needs need us, let me put it that way. And when I say us, well, some of us that are privileged to some certain level, because when I say privilege, I don't want people to miss that word. So I think it's always good for us to engage in humanitarian service, because that's the cost core for everybody. It should be a cost core for everybody, you know. And now I'm narrowing down to where, you know, having this young man as their new president, I think is going to be really hard up, because once you have the passion and you are not given the position to, to display what you can, I think is a positive one, which, which to me is a welcome development. All I can say is every one of us, one way or the other, whether you're a member or you're not a member, try to see how we can rally around him to make sure he succeed beyond his own imagination as well. Yeah. It's my son. Uh, what I see in Mark is he always like community projects, facilitating, organizing. He can do anything to make things work. That has been his style of life from childhood, he can go extra miles to allow things to work. So he's been in that spirit and he's into different organization groups that do voluntary work to help the community. The, the increase in their number is not much. I think they have been coming to their program for the past three or four years. But the number is not increasing, to my own observation. Well, I thank God for his life. I thank God for his efforts. Because it shows people are really observing him, or God has crowned his efforts with success. There are people that may do more, but they may not be noticed. But thank God is noticed and is, is moving ahead. Ah, you know he's a politician, so I expect him to use his political will. He's a politician, I'm a retiree, so there's a difference between the two of us. I'm also a politician, but, but to my understanding, I think he will, he will do his best. I can trust him for that. I, can, I will support him with prayers and I will support him financially too, to the best of my ability. Because since the inception, since the day we've been chartered, he has been trying that Rotary Club of Ebola Maritime should not go down. And good enough, we are celebrating him today and I thank him. While I was making my validity the other time, I challenged him ever before now that the way the club are now, we've been waxing and waxing stronger. but. The little challenge which we are having is our star project, which we want is support his political connection so that within the short term of his tenure, we should be able to complete this project and hand it over. And Mark is a go-getter. He's a go-getter. If he wants something to be done, he knows how to get it. And he has been doing it. And a lot of us in the club, we've been seeing that in him. And he has been doing it. He has never disappointed any one of us for a second. Unfortunately um, and unfortunately, I expected uh, his uh, co-boss to be here, but due to his uh, uh, political uh, will and ambition, maybe that happened to be it. Because that happened to be one of the challenges which I'm putting to him. Now, if you could bring Honorable Wally Raju to your university job, it would be a largest event, both for you and for the club. But unfortunately, God knows the best. But I know, and I'm very sure I can beat my chest anytime, any day, Mike will perform. It will move it. And if you go through, if you go through the social media, public image and the like, which where he started his career in the club, he has been doing wonderfully well. He has been doing wonderfully well. And I so, so much appreciate him. Okay. 
at Red Club of Equipment Metropolitan. It's a young club, like four or five years old, and uh, they've been doing fine since we started them. They've been doing fine, and uh, I would say that they can do better. You see, because there's a lot of humanitarian projects begging for for action in Ekpe, a lot. Apart from the people, we have the facilities as well, so they can do a lot in the seven areas of focus. You know? so, so that's what I would say about Rutgers Ekpe. There's a lot to do. Ekpe Metro. You see, Rotary works in, with succession planning. Rotary works with succession planning. We have uh, particularly targeted that president so that he can take the club to the next level. If you cannot take the club to the next level, you will not be president. So he's, he's specially sought out to take the club to the next level. And he will deliver, we know that. The significance of today's event is to officially recognize him as the president of the club so that he can lead the team. You can see that what we did today is to, is to inaugurate the club, the board, okay? So that people that work with him. And from today, they start rolling. Okay? There's always what you call uh, a rotary manual, which is he has to work with. So everybody will get have a copy of the manual. He has been trained how to lead his club. So we have come to the end of today's event. It was eventful and indeed very educative. And we are glad we're able to bring this to your viewing. Kindly ensure you follow us on all our social media platforms and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed. I'm Olayinka Olorin Shala once again, reporting for a cold blog.